Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, it feels like forever <laughs> since I filmed the video. Literally, it's been a, a long time for me. So on Instagram, I did mention where I was. I've been in and out of the hospital. Something's going on with my health. This is the first time I'm mentioning it here and I'm probably not going to talk about it further just because it is very upsetting. Thank you guys for all the love and support on Instagram. I really appreciate it. I know you don't know what's going on and it continues to help me as this is all being figured out. So I just wanted to say that here again, this is probably the only time that I'm going to be able to talk about it because it's too new for me. This is the first day I'm honestly feeling pretty good. So I don't wanna focus on my poor health at the moment. And I want to move on to things that make me happy, like filming. So that is <laughs> what we're doing today. I know like off to a very rocky start. I couldn't just pop back on here and pretend like everything was normal this month when it absolutely wasn't. One of the hardest, if not the hardest months of my life and I'm moving past it. <laughs> We're gonna have to move past it. But again, thank you guys so, so much for your support. And for you who are only finding out now on YouTube, that's what's going on with me. I'm going to try and do my best to post as much as I can. As you can tell, I'm an easy read. It clearly is painful to talk about. So that's all I can do. I'm sorry I can't explain further what's going on. It's just too much for me personally to deal with. I'm having a really good day. I feel good. <laughs> so now I wanna get past that announcement move on because honestly I am feeling good today and I want to focus on my good days. This also explains why I have so little beauty products because honestly I wasn't wearing anything. Everything that I'm going to be mentioning pretty much is from the end of last month going into the beginning of this until all my health issues started. So I do have some things to mention and they're all really really amazing. I also did a little background change for the month of February which you guys weren't able to see but I have my new Jackie Ina candles that came in which I'm absolutely loving. You do get duty when you're in Canada when you order them but I think they're worth it and they smell beautiful and really great quality candles so that's something that's brought me happiness. It's just a lot of pampering which you'll see in this video. And then also Rose Forever sent me a new arrangement. If you guys remember, I had the white one back there, but they sent me over this light pink one, which is so cute and beautiful, which I thought would be perfect for just the spice of pink this month. Pink lips, pink candle, pink roses. And I absolutely love this company. Rose Forever is just such a great company. It was so kind of them to send these over to me. And they did give me a link and a coupon code for you guys to save some money in case you're ordering. This is the 16 flower round. These are real flowers that are preserved to last a year. I'm sure you've probably seen other companies do these. These are the best price that I've personally seen of companies that do these kind of floral arrangements. So if you were ever curious to pick up one of these for yourself or for a gift for someone, definitely the first place I would check out. I don't get any duties to Canada. As I said, there's a ton of different styles and colors that you can get in those roses. They have gold, black, like you name it. Those are some other colors I would eventually like to check out. I had the white ones in the background before. They're still doing awesome. It was just one of those little happy moments for me this month were those flowers to receive those. So I just wanted to give a little shout out to those if you were looking into getting any kind of preserved flowers. Check out Rose Forever. I will have them linked below. I always have the things in my background like my Jackie Ina candles or the flowers. So if you're ever curious and see anything in my background, I will have it in the description box for you guys like always. And then we have very few <laughs> makeup products, but I had this whole background change for the month. I wanna appreciate it <laughs> for my February favorites because it's literally like the only video I'm gonna have up. <laughs> For makeup, this was the number one thing I was going to mention because I briefly said it in my last favorites, but it was my first day testing it. And ever since I used this the first time, I've been wearing it ever since. I love this foundation so much. It is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Longwear Foundation Plus Anti-Pollution. And this, I love just how it wears, it's long wearing definitely for sure, but how it makes my skin feel. Like this is the type of product that actually makes my skin look and feel better at the end of the day when I remove this from my face. So those are the kind of products that I really, really love that actually I feel like improve my skin when I use them. So makeup 
kind of like skincare and it's just something that I have been absolutely loving. This has been getting rave reviews on the Sephora website. I can see why it's affordably priced. It's $25 Canadian, which is pretty good for a foundation on Sephora. It can get pricey for foundations when you shop at Sephora, but I feel like the Sephora collection really hit it out of the park with this foundation. I was a little bit skeptical at first when it was called the best skin ever. I'm like, yeah. Sure, <laughs> but really it's truly a great foundation and I've been thoroughly enjoying it and I'm wearing it today. And then coupled with that, I finally <laughs> had a chance to use my Auric product, not the eyeshadow, mind you, but I have had a chance to use this. And this is the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer. And this is kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is my favorite sort of product that's similar to this. I actually like this one more than the Charlotte Tilbury now, which was shocking to me because I love the Charlotte Tilbury. Like that was one of my favorite products that Charlotte Tilbury does. And this blows it out of the water in my opinion. It's thinner, it has a little bit more coverage. The color of this one is absolutely perfect for my skin. I got it in the shade Pyrite and it matches my skin tone beautifully. This has a really nice olive undertone. I love the packaging. It feels luxe. I did get hit with duty when I ordered this from the Auric website. Talk to other Canadians, some did, some didn't, so order at your own risk, but honestly for me, it was worth it for this product. I have yet to try the eyeshadow, so I can't comment on that, but for this, I'm so happy I did buy it. That is what the color looks like on my skin. Haven't blended it out. But you can see it gives a glow without being glittery, which is honestly my favorite kind of glow. I don't like glitter whatsoever. So this just plays beautifully on my skin. It works so phenomenally with that Sephora foundation, which I've been loving. The kind of formulas just work so good together. That has been my ultimate combo for foundation is kind of mixing those two together, using the Auric on the high points of my face. And I've just been absolutely loving that combo and I can see myself continuing to use that for quite some time. I started getting into pink this month. I go through my stages. You guys know I have like my stages with pink. Sometimes I'm not wearing it ever and then I just all of a sudden I'm on a pink kick. And right now it's one of those kicks. I've been really enjoying these two blush colors from NARS, specifically the shade Thrill, which is this super light bubblegum pink shade. And I'm wearing that on my cheeks today. And then I've also been really enjoying the Cour Baton, I think it's called. It's this hot, hot pink. This, like the tiniest dab will do, it is ultra ultra pigmented and really packs a punch. The baby pink honestly has been getting a little bit more use, but when the summer hits, I can see myself reaching for this more when I actually have a decent tan going on. If you're looking for really good pink blushes, I absolutely love these two from NARS. All I wanna wear is a pink cheek right now. And then in my last trying new makeup, I just, I think it was my last one. One of my trying new makeups. I discovered the Kiss Lash Glue Liner and they have one in clear, which is this one, and then they also have a black version of it as well. But I've been absolutely loving the clear one because it's so sticky, extremely easy to use. Like honestly, the easiest way to apply lashes is with this. Hasn't irritated my lash line yet, even though I'm wearing magnetics today. If you're looking for the easiest glue to apply your lashes, honestly, this has been it for me. Like I can just pop on my lashes, they're stuck. It's super sticky. Like they're not going anywhere with this glue. It dries down clear. You just apply it like a liner. It's extremely easy to use. I could go on and on about this. Like I had such good experience with this. I know a lot of people like the black if they wear liquid liner a lot, but personally for me, I don't like to wear liquid liner all the time. And this one has been working out really nicely, especially because I had that whole lash aversion for a while I was getting reactions, but right now I'm on a good stage for lash glue and that one has been working out really nicely. I actually used up a whole one of this <laughs> prior to this month when I was wearing makeup every single day. And this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I haven't even removed the new packaging on this one, like all the way fully, because <laughs> I was just so eager to get it open. And I didn't even bother to remove the rest. So this is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. This is one of my favorite colors for every day. 
It's one of those easy to wear, super comfortable formulas, and I just find this sort of tone very flattering on my skin tone. I forgot how good the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams were. I feel like these were super popular back in the day, but I've been kind of going through my makeup collection and utilizing some older products. If you guys saw my recent makeup declutter, you would know that I've just been going through my makeup and really deciding what I want to keep, what I want to use, what I'm saving for collection. And this is just one of those tried and true older products that just work for me. So I had to pick up a new one because my other one, I literally used the whole thing up and it's just been a favorite go-to everyday, super easy lip color to wear. Then I got this big PR package from Kiss and they sent me a bunch of their new Impress manicures, which you guys know I've talked about how I didn't care for the Impress as much as the glue ones that they have because they just don't work for my nails. They just don't stick down. The old ones really wouldn't stick on my nails, but they said in the Zoom meeting that I was attending for their new launches that they actually improved the wear and the stick of the new Impress manicures. And I can totally see that because these don't pop off my nails. Like I would wear the old ones for filming if I really needed to have my nails done and they hadn't been done. I need something super quick to put on. I would wear the old Impress and literally lose nails while filming. That's how badly they worked for my nails, but their new ones actually hold on. Like they can stay for more than a week for me. They really hold on the stickiness. I don't know exactly what they did to change it, but it truly did change at least for me. Like these don't pop off like the old ones did. So if you ever had that same issue and wanted to maybe try these again, I would definitely check out the ones that have new on them. So you can try out their new nail styles. They came out with coffin shaped nails, which I'll throw in a picture if I can find it, but those ones I really liked. Coffin's my favorite type. And then they also came out with just plain color nails because that was a request from consumers, which I can see because honestly, I just like plain nails myself. Some of the other press-ons were just too designed for me. I love simple. And these ones are just the color in white. Again, super simple, nice and short for everyday life. You know, I don't want to have too long of nails. I do love the look of like a long coffin nail, but just for every day, I like it short, white, this is just what I like. And then I received the Atelier Cologne Lemon Island in the mail. And this fragrance, you guys, is another happiness in a bottle to me. And this month, like that's what I've been eating. <laughs> this smells like a tropical vacation. It smells like summertime. If you don't like the smell of like a traditional sunscreen, it smells like that, but they say it smells like sunscreen having been worn on your body for a while, which I can also totally see. Like it's weird how they can pinpoint exactly how that smells, but that's exactly what it is. And yeah, it just smells like the most beautiful vacation in a bottle to me. So this is another happiness in a bottle. I spray this and it just makes me feel good. And I've needed all those happy scents and vibes this month. So <laughs> this is one of those things that I've been reaching for on the daily. And it does put me in a good mood. If I can't put on makeup for the day, just putting on fragrance for me is self care. So that's why another reason why I'm such a big fragrance person is just finding something that really does make you feel good when you wear it. And I wear fragrance as soon as I get out of the shower, when I wake up in the morning, like I love to smell good all the time. So that is my favorite fragrance right now that I've been wearing and it's just making me feel so good and ready for summer. I'm ready for the winter to be over with. I wanna go swimming, I wanna be outside. I just wanna enjoy the sunshine <laughs> and smell like sunscreen. <laughs> and then these last two things are super random, but they were recommendations from my friend Stephanie, Babs Beauty on YouTube. We talk about each other all the time, my friend Steph, but she mentioned these in a video of her favorites and she's not the type of person to just list off a bunch of useless favorites. When she mentions something is a favorite, it is good. Like she has such good recommendations and that's why she's like one of my favorite people to watch. Also my bestie here on YouTube, but she mentioned these two products in one of her videos. The first thing I picked up is one of these electric foot files. This month has all been about pampering. I'm taking care of myself. My feet are nice and smooth, but she had a different one than the one I got. This one on Amazon Canada was cheaper. Hers was like $20 more for 
Canada Amazon. It's a little bit different for Amazon US and Canada for the type of products you get. You can still get like, this is virtually the same as hers, but you just have to kind of go buy another brand, if that makes sense. I'll try and link hers and mine down below. So if you're US or Canada, you can check these electric foot files out. But if you do at home manicures, especially like the climate we're in right now where we kind of have to do everything at home, then I would highly, highly recommend that if you have any sort of dryness, callus, anything on your feet that you need to smooth out, that will take care of all your issues on your feet like it's so so good my feet are baby soft i used to work in a factory if you guys didn't know and my feet just got really hard and calloused from my steel toe boots like they did damage on my feet let's just put it that way so i have to take the time to really take care of them to buff them out and normally by filing or even using like a sort of gel you can put on your feet that are supposed to soften them as well this works way more than any other sort of form that I've ever used on my feet. So an electric foot file is where it's at. They have a couple different files on it that you can use, some that are fine grain and then some that are really coarse. So regardless of your issue with your feet, you're gonna get them smooth. <laughs> like it works so, so well. I know it's kind of disgusting seeing your dead skin fly, but honestly, if you're looking to do at home pedicures, keep your feet right, nice and smooth you gotta check out one of these. And then the last thing I picked up, Steph's been talking about for a while, but I just didn't bother because this is period related. So if you don't wanna hear about period, you can check out now. This is the last thing I'm gonna mention. She mentioned period panties, which I never thought to pick up. I use a menstrual cup when I'm menstruating and I've used that for years and years and years. But some days I have such bad cramps that it, feels even worse if you put anything inside you basically. <laughs> TMI, but that's life, that's being a woman. And I'm happy to share things that help me like this. <laughs> I got a whole set for your period, nyx.ca. So they do have a Canadian version of the website that you can order from. So you don't get like any duties or anything. I do find these kind of pricey, these period panties, but honestly, like it saved me this month. <laughs> like the comfort I felt when using these underwear was honestly life-changing for me. So I'm forever going to be purchasing these, especially if you have really bad periods, severe cramps. You just need something to make you feel comfortable, not tight, like these have super stretch. I didn't wanna show mine because I use them, you know? <laughs> I got the set that had one of the dream shorts, which is what Stephanie recommends. And she really likes the dream short style. And then I got that in a set with their boy shorts, which is personally what I like to wear. So these ones have even more absorbency. I think this is the, the most absorbency. So it's kind of like a pad that you can reuse. I can't even describe <laughs> how awesome these are for your period. Like if you're gonna use them strictly for your period, maybe you just have bladder leaks, whatever you need some absorbency for, like this is it. They do have thongs, which Stephanie recommended too. If you have some light bleeding, they do have a size chart on their website. I got mine in a size medium and they're perfect. They have a lot of stretch to them too. So you're never going to feel tight or constricted. It's literally the most comfortable you can feel during your period is with these and i'm like converted <laughs> to this now especially for those months that i tend to have really really bad periods otherwise i'm still going to use my menstrual cup but i did want to pick up something eco-friendly comfortable you know I, I just wanted to go down that route and she recommended these so i i bought a whole set it was on the pricey side but honestly for comfort and for dealing with our women issues every single month like you deserve <laughs> to pick these up for yourself like that's all i'm saying life-changing for me, extremely comfortable, and I'm converted, and Stephanie, that's literally the best thing you've ever recommended on your channel, <laughs> was those, for me anyways, because those saved me this month. So those are all the things that I recommend and been absolutely loving this month. Some makeup, not too much, but hopefully now that things are on a good, good stage for me right now, we can move past this month, get back into my regular routine, start testing things out more, but this was kind of a random month, but 
equally as important, I feel like, because I'm sharing some like self-care stuff and things that truly just help me out. I did have one book. I honestly couldn't even concentrate on reading. So this was a book I finished near the beginning of the month and it was The Guest List, which was really entertaining, a really good read. I did start reading another book, but had to put it down because the subject matter was just too intense for me. <laughs> during the moment of this month. If you're looking for a good entertaining book, I definitely recommend that one. And if you're not following me on Goodreads yet, definitely do so. It's just my name, Cheryl Kizaluski. That is my book of the month. If you're not following me on Goodreads yet and you love to read and wanna see what I'm picking up and reading because I do genuinely enjoy reading when I'm not feeling like crap, uh, then definitely follow me on Goodreads. I would love, I don't know why I'm laughing at this. Oh, I'm having a meltdown. Definitely follow me on Goodreads. It's just my name, Cheryl Kizaluski. So add me, you can see what I'm reading. We can share books with each other. It's just one of my favorite apps, honestly, is seeing what you guys are reading because we tend to like the same things. If you're following me and like my book recommendations, we go off of each other. So I do appreciate those who have decided to follow me on Goodreads because I love checking out what you're reading and what I could potentially read next. I love to read and that was my favorite book of the month. So anyways, that is finally it for this video. I'm ending it on a good note, happy, laughing, you know, I'm back to a place I need to be and I really needed to start back to this and get to filming because this is like happiness for me to be here with you guys. It truly is one of my favorite things in the world is to be with you guys and film. So thank you guys so, so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video and I'm sure you're all gonna leave lovely comments down below for me and I really, really do appreciate it. I love you, thank you so, so much for watching. Having a hard time ending this video, it's like I don't wanna go, but I need to. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one.